In this video, we're going to look at how to create a digital editable worksheet within Google Slides. So the reason that I'm looking at using Google Slides is because my students have Chromebooks. And so we aren't able to use touch screens or styluses for any kind of annotations. We have to use our Chromebooks, which means we have to use the G Suite apps. And so we're gonna look at how to create the worksheet within Google Slides and adding text boxes. So the first thing that you wanna do is if you want to create a digital worksheet that looks more like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, we need to change the size of the slide. So we're gonna to go to File, Page Setup, and it gives us some options here, but we're gonna to go to Custom, and we're gonna change it to eight and a half by 11 inches and then we can apply that. So now this actually looks more like a piece of paper and I'm just gonna delete everything that's on the slide so that it's blank. Now, when we create this digital worksheet, what we want to do is we want to make the actual worksheet the background of the slide so that students cannot edit or delete the picture of the worksheet. And so what we're gonna do is you wanna to go to the worksheet that you want to put into Google Slides and when you are at the worksheet, so this is a PDF. And so what I want to do, since this is a PDF, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this PDF. And so I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna select just the PDF so that I don't have to go back and edit the picture. Now, when I go back into Google Slides, I want to make that picture the background and so I'm going to click on background I'm going to go to choose image and then you want to upload from your computer so you want to find that screenshot and so once you have the screenshot you'll click on done and now if you notice this is the actual background of the slide so I took a PDF that normally you can't edit on a Chromebook and I made it into an editable worksheet. Now what I wanna do is I want to insert text boxes underneath each part of the question. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just, I'll go ahead and choose type here to respond. And what I can do is I can just copy that text box and I can paste it and I can just move it down. I can paste another one and so you can actually move your text boxes around. You can change the size of it. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is I like to change the background color. And so I'll actually make the background color more of a lighter gray so that students know exactly where they can respond. So it makes it easier for them to see, okay, here's where I need to type my answers. And so now the only place that students can type is where you've inserted those text boxes, they can't change the actual worksheet itself. And so this is the best way to take a PDF and to change it into an editable digital worksheet. Now, if you have a Google Doc, you could put that into Google Docs, but again, then your students could potentially change some of your questions. This is a way that they can't change anything except for the text boxes. 